Hey love bugs, it's Rob from back at you one more again. I hope everybody's doing blessed today. I'm going blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification button so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I would love getting positive feedback, especially if you would like to tell your experience on whatever I am talking about in my content today. And if you feel like you resonate with my video, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. It will be greatly appreciated. And thank you so much for the love and support and coming to see about my channel. And for my returning subs, what's up, fam? Much love to you as always. And thank you so much for taking your time out to come about and see me. Come and continue to see me. I appreciate that. And namaste. Love and light, love and blessings, and many blessings are yet to come for you also. And thank you so much once again for the support. And my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka's upgrading. Hey, Oka's upgrading. Today, if you can actually hear my music, because my music's way on the other side of the room, because I'm not actually sitting in front of my my computer today. I'm actually sitting down today. So I said, you know what? I always do my video standing up. I'm going to sit down today and be comfortable. So yeah, but my video, um, the, the link I'm putting down below, if you can actually hear the music in the background, because you know, I always put peaceful meditation music in the background. This from insomnia is a uh, deep meditation sleep. And I will go ahead and post that link in the description box below. If you'd like to go ahead and do that, if you have a problem with sleeping, Yes, 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 yes. I've been seeing so many videos over the weekend, and if I have not been able to stop by your your channel, if you're another YouTuber and you're coming by and showing your support, you know, I've um, been going through everybody's videos and stuff like that, been stopping by and showing love and support in almost everybody's videos, but I'm just getting so many more subscribers, and thank you so much for this, for, you know, stopping by my channel, coming and let me know, you know, hey, I'm just figuring this out. You know, I'm just finding out more about myself. Thank you so much. I've been getting so many outpours of, you know, the most positive feedback I can possibly get. And, you know, that really humbles my heart to let me know that, you know, I'm doing I'm doing good. I'm doing what I need to do because it was just like, you know, I, I do so many different videos on so many different things. And it was like, you know, the twin flame or the INFJs or, you know, you're going through narcissistic abuse or, you know, letting go of past hurt and trauma. But it was like finding out about myself, you know, being a hey Oka, because it was just like, you know, when you look at your life, when you really truly look at your life, it's like when you find out you're a hey Oka and it's just so many different people or, you know, it's like different. <laughs> you know, there, you know, there's different words. I mean, they're coming out like I'm this and I'm that. I'm like, I can't even pronounce this. This sounds like Anastasia, Anna, Anna something, but I don't know. But it was just like, you know, I'm doing more research and stuff and finding out more about myself, you know, and it's just been crazy. And it's just like with these upgrades and I've been going on different people's videos. And it's just like amazing that so many people that I connect with that are different subs also is like going through the same thing and it's like you know when we when we have the the lunar eclipse or this is supposed to be the off leap year or whatever this craziness is it's just like you know going through all these different emotions and it's like you, you keep it can be calm for one minute and next thing you know you'll be all over the place in the next and i'm just like you know i'm um, my emotions are really, really, really sensitive lately. It's just like I cut myself off from, you know, actually talking to people on the phone or video chatting. And it's, you know, because I'm very emotional right now. And I don't know what it is. It's not for a bad thing, but it's like my, my senses is very been, you know, really been heightened lately. And I'm just wondering, is anybody else going through that? It's just like all this past stuff is coming back and it's just like, Okay, <laughs> why am I dealing with this again? I thought I let this go. You know, it keeps coming back and coming back, you know, and it's just like past trauma. 
from my childhood, you know, going through things with, you know, my adopted family and, you know, just basically recognizing things that I thought I truly let go of, but I guess it's just in my inner psyche. It still has, you know, gone through that because it's like my father's anniversary of his death um, is this Saturday and it's just creeping up on me and then trying not to really think about it but then when I think about it you know when I don't think about it it's like I can't go on any kind of social media right now because it's just like I see him everywhere I really see him everywhere and it's just like people are just talking about how you know how are they coping you know with his death or you know um you know, putting up things that he had said before he had passed, and, you know, it's, like, really heartbreaking, because you, you know, as an empath, you feel everybody's emotions on top of yours, so it's just, like, you know, I can't grieve for my father, because he just, you know, I always hear, hear him tell me, you know, stop doing that, you know, I don't want you grieving for me, I don't want you crying over me, you know, I'm okay, you know, and it's just like, yeah, you're telling me you're okay, but I'm not okay. You know, it's just like, you know, finding out all these different things, but having a blessing about it at the same time because it strengthened me. It really has strengthened me. And you going through all these things and you're you're getting over the things that you've been through and you can recognize them and say, you know what, I've been through this and this this situation, I did not let it define me. I did not let it break me, even though it almost broke you. You know, you're getting through that. You know, it might not seem like you are, and it might, you know, it's only one day at a time. I had to keep telling myself, only one day at a time. You know, there's not everybody's going to agree with you. Not everybody's going to like you. Nobody, not everybody's going to see the same views as you. But it's just like when you're on your journey, it, it just, like we always you know, we're always wanting to be liked or, you know, even though we like to, you know, be closed off or whatever, it's, it's like we don't want to be alone, but we don't want to be around a lot of people either. And, you know, people are like, how does that make any sense? And I said, there's a lot of people who are like that. You don't want to be alone, but you don't like the fact of being lonely either. And it's just like going through all those situations and, you know, thinking about what my family did to me. And I'm just like, I don't want to think about that anymore. And it's not the fact that I want to just cover up the hurt or, you know, want to make it go away. I just want to be able to let go of it and not let it come back. You know, it's just like, it just feels like it's a, a bad hair bump. It just will not go away. <laughs> you keep on doctoring it up and just say, okay, I'm going to let it heal. But it's just something that just keeps picking at it and getting it infected so you know i'm just trying to get through these things and going through <clears throat> all these awakenings and you know feeling sick and i mean headaches going back and forth and you know me crying at a drop of the hat they had this man on the internet today it's going so viral if you're you know if you're on uh social media or on Facebook, you've probably seen it, and it was just horrifying, you know, seeing this man beat up this dog, you know, in his car and laughed about it, and I mean, I was literally crying for this dog, like, how could you do that, you know, and then you're filming it on top of that, and then come find out the dog dies, like, hours later, but just seeing, you know, I felt that pain in that dog, like, he gave up. He really gave up, and I mean, I cried for, like, a couple of hours, and it's just like, I've even though I've felt bad when I see animals hurt, it's never really truly hit me like it was my dog. You know, even though, I mean, it's just like we're all connected in one way or another. But actually seeing some a monster, you know, abuse an animal like that, and you know, it's just, it's hateful. You know, I really feel like it's hateful when you watch, when you're going around, you know, around the, you know, social media and you have these people that are videotaping punishing their children I really you know I really don't get that you know it's just like you punish your child and you embarrass them <laughs> it, it's not doing anything it's that making situations worse you know they cutting off their hair you know just to have have them you know belittle them and it's just like not doing anything because you know 
anything to make the situation better. It's just adding worse to it because it breaks down the child's confidence. And on top of that, you have to worry about the child being bullied at school. So basically, you make the situation worse. So it's just like, I, I, I thought about all the stuff like that. So I, I, I apologize if I'm like all over the place, but that's just how my, <laughs> my upgrade is. So it's just like you're going through stuff like that and you're probably paying attention to more things that you probably weren't really aware of before that you're probably more aware of now. And you're, I'm just wondering, is anybody else feeling that way? It's just like, Dad, you've seen, you've probably seen, like you might watch a movie and then all of a sudden, you know, you, you, you've watched this movie before, but then it has a different meaning to you this time. And it probably resonates with the, with the life that you're probably going through. I know it's a lot of movies that I pick out. And I've said that before in some videos where it, it resonates with me in some kind of way. It's giving me some kind of message because you're not picking this movie just for any reason. Or it could be a new movie, movie that you probably resonate with and you're like, wow, you know, this kind of like is saying something about my life. So, but I'm not trying to ramble on, you know, I was just wondering, is anybody else going through these things? Because it just, it just feels like going through this is really, like, strengthening me. You know, I might be going through a little sadness and grief. It's not really depression, but it's just sadness and grief, you know, my father. But other than that, it's just like, it's just opened my eyes to a lot of things. It's just opening myself up to love myself more being able to recognize things that I will no longer accept that I've said before because it's just before I used to let people run over me and take advantage of me and stuff like that and I just won't allow them to do that. I won't let them do that. You know, if I feel that way, I just won't even deal with them. I just have simply no contact. So that is the video for today and I will see you on my next video. And if you will keep me in your prayers, and I will definitely keep you in mind and send out as much love and light and frequency. And thank you for stopping by my channel and taking the time out to listen to me ramble on as usual. And much love to you. And we will talk on my next video. Drop me a line. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And I will talk to you later. Peace and be wild.